Yo, what is up guys? Steel Viker here, back again for the final video of the day. If you have seen every single one of them, you've sat through all the videos, thank you guys so much for watching that video. I really appreciate it, appreciate your support. And, yeah, before we get into this, just real quick note, please check out that Steel Horns YouTube channel. Uh, we did a little short skit video that I was in yesterday. Check that out, it's kind of funny. I, I died in Minecraft. But, basically guys... Why don't you go ahead and check out That Steel Horn. If you subscribe to him, it'll encourage him to push his new videos out and start working on them. He has a new video that he's planning on editing and putting out there sometime soon. And maybe tomorrow if you guys get some support. So please go check out That Steel Horn. And with that, guys, let's get right into the video. So today, as you know, terrifying trio. Three sneak peeks to, to look at. And uh, I've already looked at two of them. Now we're looking at the final one, which is Fright in the box. You made a big mistake coming over here. I'll give you a three second head start to get lost. One, two, three! <laughs> so for this sneak peek guys, we I will go over, I will watch this video and then I will talk about him. This is the last one, guys. We're almost done here. So, this one, I'm just going to say right off the bat, is probably my least favorite one of the ones they've shown. So, you don't see him here. You don't see it at all. You see him going back down into the box right there. You get a shot of the actual Jack in the Box box, and then he pops out. And you see his face. Now, I have mixed feelings about the face, okay? Because I kind of like it, but I will get to that when I go right over to their website. So this is the 3 foot 5 Fright in the Box animatronic for $209.99. And in my opinion, that is quite a high price for this. I think this thing should be cheaper just because it's a jump scare prop doesn't mean it's super expensive. He doesn't. He isn't even full body. He is just kind of cloth and then a head. Uh, which I will get to my little um, thoughts about the head in a, a one, near the end here. After the toy maker's wife died, nothing made him happy. Making trains and dolls was no relief. One day, a man from the traveling circus visited him and promised to cure all of his pain and make him laugh again if he made him one particular toy. Desperate for his melancholy to cease, the toy maker agreed. Now no one has seen him since, but locals say behind that clown's just face, they can see the toy maker's eyes when the fright in the box strikes. So basically, the toy maker is now this fright in the box box clown that they made, that he made for himself. The fright in the box animatronic features yellow, glowing eyes, very similar to Uncle Charlie's, by the way, and his head pops up when you least expect it for a terrifying scare. Includes the animatronic instruction manual, volume control, external speaker jack adapter. And the product sayings are, Pop Goes the Weasel, Clown Screams and Laughs. Animated, Step Pad Compatible, Try Me Button Compatible, Multi-Prop Remote, Activator Compatible, Adapter Type 6 Volt 2 Amp Included, Cord Length 6 Feet. Now, I like the idea of these Jack in the Box animatronics. I think they're cool. They're characters I like. I like having those. But honestly, this is kind of a generic clown for me. And I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm while I think this, I am unlikely to get this. You never know, just because it's a nice jump scare prop. It's very good. Uh, nice to have something like that. But if I get a jumping the uh, red and black jumping spider, then I probably won't need this. But like I said, I like the J Jack in the Box box concept, even though it has been done before. So you can see the crank here, which moves as it goes, and there is the skull decals, and I like that that they had included that. Kind of makes it look more evil and. Like, you know something's up, and I like that they added those instead of just having this front side be kind of blank. Pretty sure this is just cardboard. Very similar to uh, Cryo Chamber Corpse or Incinerator Zombie. And um, you can see he's got this oversized, kind of comical clown ribbon, which I think is alright, it's fine. And then you see this cloth here, it's supposed to cover up the internals part of it, but it's also supposed to be where his body comes out of it and makes it deep way for them to just... Now, I like the design of his head, kind of. I think it's cool and all, it's a nice creepy clown face, but it is kind of generic. It is a pretty generic looking clown, with green hair, a little bit of Joker vibe to it, 
kind of got Uncle kind of has Uncle Charlie's eyes and face design, and I just think it kind of makes sense since he's just a Jack in the Box, but he is kind of generic. He also looks a bit like Pennywise to me, just a little bit. I mean, he does have wrinkles, and that's good. The paint, you know, that's cool, and his teeth are all right. It kind of reminds me of something Halloween Hunters would make, which if you don't know, they kind of make kind of lower end animatronics. I have. Uh, I think I have a few hands from them, which is personally what I get Halloween Hunter, but Halloween Hunter sells, Hunters sells, like, lower, lower quality props, and this is what it kind of reminds me of, so, not my favorite clown ever, but it's nice that they're bringing back the Jack in the Box clown concept, because we haven't seen any of those for a while, and you notice there's a lot of dolls in the background, which isn't really part of the prop, but you can tell they're trying to, like, do this little... Toys thing, which once again, this is very much hinting at a clown theme, guys. So I think we might get some sort of clown theme this year because we've got this. We got the trio. It's clowns. It, like I said, this is my least favorite, but that doesn't mean I I dislike it. See, this shot looks different, and with this lighting, it looks you know whatever with his face. The hair style is different here slightly. I I'd, I'd like the face. It's just generic in my opinion, but it is creepy. It'll scare people. It, you know, it's going to scare people regardless if they're afraid of clowns. It just pops up, as long as it pops up quickly enough. Um, and you can see this is the box closed, which we see in the sneak peek. And it's not a bad-looking box. It's all right. I don't know what it's made out of. I believe it might be fabric, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. It could also be, like, a cardboard material. The side view of him popping up. And the other side. So, yeah, guys, this one is kind of a mixed bag for me just because of, you know, I can see where people complain about generic clowns, and I can see this, and the price is a little high, but, you know, at the same time, it's not bad. It's not a, like, bad product in any, any way. It's just up to taste, and, you know, it's a generic clown, so take it as you, as you want. So now, this is the part of video where I will quickly show you guys the raw footage right here. Alright guys, and now I'm going to go through, just talk about what we're seeing. This one is really, I, once again guys, if you want me to stop doing the, the thing where I talk about them and I give you my thoughts on this, I definitely can. I understand, it's, there's not much to talk about here. So, Pop Goes the Weasel plays, the thing moves, we see Fun Time Clown Doll. It's, it's out of tune, which I like, and then he pops out and kind of scares you. He's definitely, it definitely is going to scare people, okay? There's, there's no doubt about that. It'll scare people as long as it goes quickly. It's like Cryo, Cryo, sorry, Cryo Chamber Zombie, uh, very much like that. So, you know, you know what you're getting if you had either one of those or you've seen them. Um, I want to see this guy in stores. I want to see how quickly he pops up and that will kind of, you know, change my opinion on him. Will I probably get him? No. But still an interesting prop to look at. So what are your guys, what are your thoughts down below in the comments below? I'm curious to see about any, about what you guys think of these props. Do you like them? Do you like the trio? Which one's your favorite? Um, my favorite would have to be the, um, uh, Johnny Punk and followed by the, uh, clowning around and then this one, but that might change. What are your thoughts? But yeah, what do you guys think? What is your personal list of the trio? How would you rank each of them? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear from you and I will comment back. I, I always do. I do my best to come back when I can. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on the next sneak peek. Which, I don't know, will probably be tomorrow. Anyway, see you guys. Thank you for watching. Check out that steel horn. Bye.